And I think already this idea of the temple in the centre uh, is, is an indication that we're talking about a particular kind of social organisation that is around the museum. Um, the idea that the museum represents a kind of replacement for religion is something which disturbs me a little bit because I think that we need uh, uh, an art, at least we need certain museums, certain museums in the Netherlands, in any place in the world, which think critically about their context, which isn't about confirming the values of modernity, confirming the values of secularism, if you like, but actually trying to think critically about our relationship to the rest of the world and our personal relationship to individual artists who come and show here. And I'm not sure that the museum is always the best place in which that can be explained. Sometimes it's much more interesting for a work of art to be stumbled across in the street, to be discovered in a, an apartment uh, in a small suburb of the city, than it is to come very specifically to one building, to walk into white cubes, and to encounter the work in a very, very structured, very, very dogmatic condition, in a sense. Um, what, I would, what I would really, really hope is that, is that alongside that possibility of going to the temple, you have other ways in which the imagination of artists can be encountered. And maybe in that way, the imagination of artists can be part of society. Because I think in the end, what we're trying to do, what the, the most important objective of art is to try and create a new imagination for how you might look at the world and how the world might look at you. And that possibility, of changing your imagination is something which is the heart of most artists' activity. And how you change the imagination is not dependent on the place that you do it in, but, it, but often it's related to how you encounter the art. And I don't think the museum is the only place where art should be encountered, so that's why we want to spread ourselves around.